Cheryl Slam's Maggot star studded 2023 Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction, Worst Thing in Royal History. The Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction ceremony is typically a joyous occasion filled with celebration and tributes. However, for Meghan Markle it turned into an evening of humiliation and mockery. Despite her absence from the event, the Markle became the subject of jokes and jabs from the inductee, Cheryl Crow. Airing Monday night, the three-hour special features must-see performances and appearances from the star-studded inductees, along with special guests such as Elton John, Dave Matthews, Olivia Rodrigo, Chris Stapleton, New Edition, St. Vincent, H.E.R., Common, LL Cool J, Jasmine Sullivan, Queen Latifah, Peter Frampton and many more. You get a combination of not only your favourite artists who are in the Hall of Fame, but the young artists that look up to them like Tonight You'll Have Olivia Rodrigo singing with Sheryl Crow, said John Sykes, chairman of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Sheryl Crow, who was honoured for a solo career, sang favourites such as All I Want To Do, If It Makes You Happy and Soak Up The Sun. She addressed the audience before ending her performance, dedicating a final song to Meghan Markle. Crow observed that Meghan appeared to be enjoying the California sun while the rest of the group was freezing in New York. She expressed her dissatisfaction, claiming that she'd viewed Meghan as a strong and independent woman, but now saw her as a selfish and manipulative liar. Crow called Meghan a fame-hungry opportunist and accused her of forsaking her family, country and fans. Crow's lyrics seemed to criticise Meghan's lifestyle and the audience exploded in applause. She does not or cannot behave like a royal. She never fit in, and she knows that. Rather than try, she took herself back to California to play at being a royal in a country that doesn't recognise the status. However, Americans respect the titles and behave accordingly. She's not an A-list actress or A-list anything. Now, America does recognise Hollywood and accomplished A-listers. They are, in effect, American royalty. But Meghan doesn't fit in there either. Meghan wants to hang around A-listers in order to appear like she's one of them. But she doesn't understand that people who are already A-listers don't need a with a duchess title in order to look important and get ahead. Because they're already A-listers on top of their game. So A-listers avoid her because putting up with her non-discretion and a clinginess gets them nothing. 2023 has been a big flop for Harry and Meghan, and that says a lot considering 2022 was filled with a bunch of flop projects and tax schemes, where official documents show that Harry and Meghan only clocked in one hour of work a week for the year. This year we had Harry's disastrous spare promo tour, where he hit us with the did Meghan ever say the royal family was discriminatory, and shifted the blame on the British press, whilst simultaneously destroying the only argument Harry and Meghan laid on by Harry saying the royal family isn't discriminatory, having lived within that family.